I'm not against gay people, but I don't want them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. I mean, you come off like a woman, you look like a woman. They had spiders, sp goats that were part spiders, whose udders were basically spider spinnerets, because the rest of the goat looks like a goat. It's ma'am, I'm gonna beat your ass. Hey guys, what you're about to watch is a clip from a new episode with Alex Jones from my new podcast that just launched, The Blair White Project. It airs the day after this video goes live on my second channel, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and every other platform. I did what I consider to be the most interesting interview Alex has ever done, full stop. I asked him the hard questions about the lawsuits against him, his mistakes, controversies, what he's done that he's proud of, and I think that regardless of your feelings about him, when the full episode launches tomorrow, I think you'll find it fascinating. Trans issues, human animal hybrid brands, aliens, psychedelics, you name it. It's all going to be there. And we were drinking the whole time. Enjoy this clip and then make sure you tune in the day after this video goes live for the full experience. They can't say that. Exactly. It's an orthodoxy. And, and like getting back to that, whenever I was here last week, a lot of people were commenting online. I saw it like, well, wait a minute. He hates people that are trans or whatever. But then he's here being a hypocrite. And no, I've never been a hypocrite. I'm not against any adults with whatever they want to do. I'm a libertarian when it comes to that. I've never changed that view. You've been listening for a long time. You know that. What I don't like is whether it's homosexual, heterosexual, whatever it is, children need to be left alone and be innocent. And if a dude walked up and started trying to tell my kids at the park, five and six-year-olds about sex, you call the police. But what, what is the school doing? It leave exactly. people Leave people alone and let them do what they want as adults. And then let them make their own decisions. That's what freedom is all about. So I've never been hypocritical, and I've never been, uh, uh, you know, a fraud about that. I think you're a really nice person, really smart, neat person. I like you a lot. I think you're a friend. So to me, it doesn't matter. It's individuals and what they want to do in their own lives. Uh, well, you they know. call me the same shit. It's like, so it's, it's funny that you mentioned they're calling you a hypocrite. I thought when you first started that sentence, you were going to say people were calling me that because I saw that about me. It's like, I well, saw how it, yeah. could you sit there? And, and talk with him or hang out with him, which, first of all, this isn't the first time we've been on camera together. This is like the second or third. But second of all, how are you going to tell me behind a screen how he feels when I've been in a room with him? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, I mean that, but, but that's what's happening is you were on my show like four or five years ago. I mean, it, 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 I, I, and I thought you're a really smart person. You are my first interview ever. So, so I was, I was lucky you came on my show. He's a really smart, neat person. And so it's just not real. I mean, you come off like a woman. You look like a woman, and, and, it, and it seems natural that you're a woman. But then you get some giant former, you know, ex-con armed robber prisoner who's like who's like deadlifting 600 pounds, and he's like, some goes, hey, dude, how you doing? Yeah, man, I'll get to you next. He's like, it's ma'am. I'm going to beat your ass. You know, and he's like sitting there. That's that's not a woman. It's different. It's, it, different. It, 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 it's different. And then sitting there letting a thug do that, it's like no one buys it. And, and, and so I'm not one way for one audience and one way for another. It's all completely there. I don't hate anybody. I'm not a hypocrite. Uh, and I'm not sitting there putting people down. You're not hurting anybody. You're and not it's more convenient for us to hate each other. Let's just be real. It, it keeps things the way that it is, and it keeps this crazy divide by making it more convenient for me to sit here and think that you're going to have a grudge against me or that you're yeah, not going to like me. Yeah, but I don't like just not, not, I mean, not dislike you. I like you. Exactly. And I like the crew out here and all these cool people. I mean, it, it's just stupid. And, and what I'm saying is it shouldn't be a political agenda what people do in their personal lives or their identities or who they are. And there was one thing about humans. We change our environment, and we change who we are. And it is a fact that we are controlling our evolution. But the globalists then hijack that great truth and say, that's right, and we're going to control the evolution, and we're going to be in the driver's seat, and that, that should not be done. You said that it was a... Um... I want to do that. Can we take a five-second break? Yes. All right. I, I, that water you have is so good, and I stole it. And I'm, I'm going to be good this week, okay? okay. Uh, we need a little more water. Does that mess you up? <laughs> no, anyway. you're fine. I'm going to try to get out of this and see if we can go eat. So. Yeah, we should go out to eat. Um, it's good. Let's just sit this next to me. Yeah, you're good. Fuck it. Go ahead, sorry. I'm going to have a sip of this, too. That's yours. I yeah. stole yours. So, Let's start over. But I, and yeah, I, and, yeah. I mean, here's the deal. Start your question over. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, you're good. This video is sponsored by none other than Adam and Eve, the undisputed number one adult store on the planet. They've been in business for over 50 years, and they've earned their reputation as number one by guaranteeing discreet packaging, 24-7 customer service, 90-day no-hassle returns, and of course, quality products. Adam and Eve has been a very loyal sponsor to me over the years, and I cannot recommend them enough. You can use my code Blair on their website for 50% off 
one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada, link in the description. But you mentioned, um, and I want you to get more into it and tell me a little more because I'm fascinated by it. You said that it was a depopulation scheme. So what is that? Sure. I want to know. And, it, and it doesn't mean that, 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 that people have, have a proclivity or genetically or for whatever reason are, are, are predisposed to something or bad people. It means there's an agenda hijacking that to basically, because obviously you're super smart and 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 you're successful, but but I've had members of the UK Parliament on there, even liberals, where the, overall they are targeting autistic boys, and they are targeting you know low IQ and, and Down syndrome and stuff as a way to make sure that they don't have any children. Uh, they are basically using that as the cover uh, for sterilization, and, and then also there's a larger issue of all the studies. Um, we have a, a up lake in East Texas on our ranch, and we wanted to get carp in it to eat the the, the, the plant so it's you know clear water. And they, and you go to the state of Texas, and they give you sterilized carp that have had a chemical put in the water that makes them asexual. And so what we know is atrazine and a lot of other chemicals in utero in the first trimester can can basically uh, change a lot of the sexual traits. Uh, either physically or, or or also where you can see it or to a less degree inside brain development. Uh, and so you do have a lot of boys who in utero are more feminine and express more feminine traits. And so it really is the fact that they are more like a girl than a boy. And that's, that's showing up in mammals. It's showing up in reptiles. It's showing up everywhere with the chemicals. And so that's where you get the famous... I'm not against gay people, but I don't want them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. And and like literally all over, you know, the world, different species of frogs that get these chemicals are no longer attracted to the opposite sex. Uh, whatever it does in the endocrine disruptors is it is it, it causes a bunch of a bunch of things to happen. And so we should be having a larger discussion about why there's this proclivity and why this is happening, not hate people that have been affected by it. And of course, going back thousands of years ago, there were a certain percentage of the population that was already like that to begin with. So I don't hate any of those people. Uh, what I'm getting at is, is that there is a larger scientific body of evidence that shows that this is a cultural thing, but more importantly, it's something happening biological. Yeah, I, I think the, I don't know which is scarier, the cultural part or the biological, because um, like I've felt trans my entire life, probably five was the earliest age I had the feelings. But I also am able to recognize that as I get older, I'm watching five-year-olds being told they're that way, which is the opposite for me, which was I had these feelings and they weren't validated by everyone around me or pushed. It was just the kind of fucking happened. But now you have these five-year-olds that are being told because they like girly things or because they like boyish things as a girl that they must be the opposite sex. And it's almost this ideological push. And I, I guess that that would make sense if the theory is that this is a depopulation scheme or at least one aspect of it. But that's scary well i mean i mean there there is no doubt they want to destroy the family and they don't want to have single family dwellings and they want to not just have gmo i agree with that not just have gmo crops they want to have gmo people and you've got all these animal human hybrids that they never roll out in the public but they've been producing in all these different medical experiments that don't have rights they don't have animal rights they don't have human rights they're this no man's land and so they're you know they're kind of using the trans agenda to get you used to saying a biological man can compete against women or a biological man can be in prison and two women got pregnant. That's not true. So they're also just using it to basically be illogical and then scape group, s s uh, scapegoat a group of people that are innocent like yourself and, and they know what they're doing and it's total divide and conquer like you said and it needs to stop. Yeah. Because can I get back? I don't want to forget this question because when, yeah, when, when you were saying it, I was like, I got to get back to this but then we kept going about the other shit. Um, the human animal hybrids. Mm -hmm. I don't really know much about that. That's that just sounds like some crazy shit. Not in a bad way. It just sounds like mm. nuts. W can you just give me the the for dummies version of what's happening there? Growing human organs is obviously going to be one of the biggest industries ever. Yeah. And you, it's hard to create artificial wombs to do that. Also, if something's 100% human, it's got rights. And if something's an animal, it's even got rights. But if it's a new species, a, a, an alien, which means never been on the earth before, part human, part animal, now that human-animal hybrid doesn't have rights. And so you can gestate it, in, usually in a cow, 
but they grow an other animal human hybrids, um, pig human hybrids, you name it, inside cows. Those cows are generally uh, being given anti rejection drugs, or themselves are part human, uh, so that they can then not reject um, the humanoid they're growing up inside of it. Wow. And I remember 25 years ago seeing like MIT reports on it, uh, and and then and even five years ago they had articles. Uh, Human animal hybrids are gestating or in utero on farms across the U.S. That's a that real headline. And it just admits there's thousands of these clones. And I've talked to some people that have worked uh, in uh, biomedical areas that have been involved in it, including University of Texas. And uh, one time uh, I was actually uh, given a little little tour. And I, I, I was off records. So I can't get into all of it, but I was able to see some of these. Oh my God! Um, over CCTV at, at a facility out in Bastrop, from UT, uh, downtown, I was able to look at it. Um, it was Holy. a DARPA, DARPA program that was about, that was about twenty three years ago, and these were human animal apes um, that they're using for medical experiments, and they they admit that's going on. It's in the National Academy of Sciences and in the NIH and all that that's going on, and and so but here's the deal: I'm talking about it. It's like I'm talking about Mars because it sounds crazy. But, you know, I don't think it actually sounds that fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I think it, it sounds so, it sounds out of what we think would be acceptable, but then you look throughout history. Well, that's it. It's all segregated yes. away where you don't see it. Yeah. You think of so many experiments throughout history. You think of so many um, surgeries that we have now that we deem as important in a routine that were born out of the Nazi experiments. And you think of, you know, so much crazy shit that goes on. It's not actually that unbelievable. It's wild, but it's not that unbelievable. Exactly. And what's frustrating to me is... 99% of what I cover is open source and not debatable. And then they'll just lie and say I'm making it up. But, I mean, that's really going on. I mean, in the last week, they had the Washington Post, the New York Times, Bloomberg, the Financial Times of London all say it's time to have dictators. Freedom isn't good. It's time to censor. It's time to be in a tyranny. These are headlines saying this, that it's time to have a dictator. This is what the Davos group and the globalists are selling. Yeah. I just have another question about the animal hybrids. Um, what level of, this is almost my morbid curiosity, I'm going to a dark place right now. What level of consciousness did they have that they are an experiment? Did they have like animal intelligence? Did they have human intelligence somewhere in between? Do you even know? How much can you say? Well, if you know how mad scientists work, and if you look at the spirit of evil that runs thing, it's mad scientists, the sky's the limit. There are thousands of admitted projects in the U.S. that have happened, thousands in China, uh, ones I've seen in, like, financial reports out of Costa Rica, South Korea, just everywhere. So and don't forget your thought, but but I've seen a lot of, like, studies about, like, when the government would operate on, like, mentally children. Oh, absolutely. And, You've so, had all yeah. the secret medical experiments in Tuskegee, but, I mean, you were asking how far along it is. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know that 20... Three years ago or so, I saw a CBS News article about a military base in, in, in upstate New York that had spider goats on it. So I was my own producer then. So spider I Spider goats? Spider goats. Okay. So I, I called the name of the guy in the thing. He answers. He goes, yeah, I'll come on your show. Yeah, I got a Defense Department contract. I'm a genetic engineer. We create body armor out of the milk of these goats that are you know part spider. And all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. He got in a bunch of trouble for talking to me, but he'd been in CBS News. I have had people, after that happened, walk to me on the street and go, you're a liar. We can't splice goats and spiders. Well, since then, there's thousands of articles admitting spider goats. Anybody can type in spider goats. You'll get articles going back you know, 20 years. The point is, is that they kind of report it to see what we do and then kind of pull back. And so that's my point is, if... 20-something years ago, they had spiders, sp goats that were part spiders, whose udders were basically spider spinnerets because the rest of the goat looks like a goat, but the udders are like a spider spinneret deal. Holy. I, look it up, guys. I, I'm not making this up. It's not even debatable. That's 20-something years ago. So, wow. And I interviewed the head of the project. Uh, you, you, you know, it, it's just insane. Like, I had the head of Harp on like 25 years ago. Because back then I wasn't a big show, so I could just call and get people on. I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, tell us about Harp. He's the top scientist. He comes on. There's an Air Force colonel on the line. In case anything's classified, they kill the interview in 20 minutes and cut the guy off. He's like, well, yeah, Harp can't ignite the atmosphere. We can't control the weather. 
And, and like, that's a real interview with the real head of heart. That really happened. So, so much of what I've done has just been really open source. Well, you know, of all the shit that you talk about, I think that the spider, or not the spider, the animal human hybrids are actually probably one of the more believable things that you talk about. I, I think like that's kind of common sense. It's one of those things people almost wonder, like, it's one of those questions you ask as like a five-year-old, like, can a dog and a cat have a baby? It's like a very kind of juvenile. Th of course, there are scientists that fuck with that and try to make it happen. Well, exactly. They're called chimeras. It, yeah. it goes back to the Greeks because they, you know, they mythically said there were these, you know, part man, part horse, part whatever, mermaids. Whether, whether that ever existed or not, it does now. Mermaids exist now. Oh, they've definitely tried to splice humans with with fish. Um, I mean, they've done it all at the embryonic level. It, it's not debatable. Type in humans splice with fish in 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 genetic cloning tests, and it, it, there's articles. Humans splice with insects. Did you know, as of last year, 2021, there's already GMO salmon that's part insect and part mammal that's twice as big as regular salmon being sold on store shelves without telling you. Wow. 